press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. A free willy conversation. Uh, to begin with, it's a bit cliche question, but I'm sure people would want to move here from, from you because uh, we were hearing what Priyanka's session was all about. That when you are a mainstream Bollywood actor and somebody approaches you for a different medium, and the medium when we are discussing obviously is web, what is your primary concern or hitch or the excitement on which you decide that whether I should do or whether I should not do the project? Firstly, I think, hi everyone. <laughs> It's really good to be here. I'm so happy we're having these conversations. Uh, these are truly exciting times for all of us in storytelling. And uh, I think the India Web Fest is doing a great job by bringing us closer to each other and giving us an opportunity to meet and speak to each other. Um, to answer your question, Ram, I think the first thing that we need to acknowledge is that these hierarchies that have existed no longer exist. These are perceptional hierarchies that were created largely, I feel, by the media. Because, you know, the whole concept of big screen and small screen. The deviation. The, yeah. That needn't ever have existed. Uh, but because some of the finest actors were born in television and graduated to cinema, many continue to do television parallelly. And I think what the digital medium has done is that it has kind of created bridges between all uh, narrative uh, platforms. Uh, so there is this incredible environment of exchange and interdependence that has started. So for me personally, oh great, it's so wonderful not to have a plastic bottle on this table. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, for me personally, it's been always, and I think more so now than ever before, a desire to be a part of compelling storytelling that resonates deeply with me as an individual. So the only reason why I chose to be a part of Kafir was because the story called out to my soul. That's your primary calling, you said. Absolutely. So, I need to connect with it. So if I may ask, I mean, this could be a very general question or you can answer from your personal experience, that when you sign a film, uh, in a, in, when it's a film, the remuneration, the days, working hours are completely different from that what we see in web. So the mindset of an actor, are they willing to change that? Are they ready to accept that kind of a change in in terms of remuneration, in terms of working hours, in terms of the facilities that they generally get when they're doing a big budget uh, Hindi film, like the pampering, what we generally get to see of actors. Do you, uh, so, so that mind uh, uh, set changes because the budget is obviously a, a, a bit of uh, you know uh, issue when we're doing a big Hindi film or a web series. I think it's a, it's such an individual choice. Um, I, I think. If as an individual you care enough for a story and you really want for it to be told, whether it's for the big screen or it's for digital, you find a way to tell it. I mean, I've been a part of what are called very tiny budget films where we've, you know, used, we've gone, we answered nature's call <laughs> in the open. <laughs> we haven't had the luxuries of what you call a vanity van. Uh, you, we've lived in, you know, very modest accommodations and we've enjoyed the process of telling that story. Uh, so I would believe that you would apply the same desire to tell the story to any medium. Uh, of course, you want to work as an individual with people who respect your craft, who respect you, and who will not cut corners for the sake of cutting corners, but if it's actually, if the money is actually being used to tell the story, then I'm happy to accommodate whenever it's necessary. Super. Uh, coming on to my next question, which is... I guess that's a producer in me. <laughs> because I know how difficult it is. Uh, 
this to uh, tell stories. So for those who have the bravado to go out there and produce narratives, I respect their effort enough to say I will cooperate with you to ensure this process is facilitated. True that. Uh, in continuation of what you are saying, I would like to also ask that does censorship, the sense of censorship works when you sign on a particular project? In this case, Carfare, because you know that when you were working on it or when they approached you, it, it, it had a borderline of chance of going wrong or people would react in a different way considering it is about Kashmir and since we are dealing with, with the issue and now I think Afar is more contemporary with, with the whole of Article 370 and uh, what's, what's happening in our country. So censorship, so as an actor, when you are signing a film, do you feel that you know uh, the censorship works, uh, doesn't work, how do, how do, how do you choose on? I have honestly never been uh, in favor of censorship, not for the theatrical medium. I, I think that one of the most empowering aspects of the digital space is the fact that we don't have to deal with censorship. I think censorship disrespects the individual's ability to make responsible choices. Um, I know that you know when you're a teenager, your parents set certain ground rules that you follow and they are value-based rules and the more trusting your parents are of you honoring those values, the more responsible you become towards honoring them as opposed to if you are caged or locked away or you are told don't go there, don't do that, you will find more teenagers wanting to run away and do just those very things that they are being told not to do. Story of the forbidden fruit. Absolutely. So I feel that's the role that censorship unfortunately plays. I feel that there is a requirement for certification. It's important, it's necessary, because it's important for anybody to know what the age for the consumer should be that's watching the, the content. And that should suffice. Beyond that, then you're controlling what people feel and think and I don't agree with that. 